Brought you some coffee. You were right. Mm -hmm. Come to bed. No, I can't. I gotta go. Sorry, I didn't wake you last night. I killed a guy last night. Cop got killed and uh You all right? Yeah. They say if you use your gun once in 20 years, it's a big deal. Well, it's a big deal. Do 
you want to talk about it? What do you think about Rickard? You ask me, he's headed for the psycho ward. He can get bits of rest, though. No, not really. Hey, that's right. Hey, Carter. Department of the gut feelings of my officers. We'd be the laughing stock to win. Rickard's record speaks for itself. Lieutenant, the guy's been living on the edge for the last year and a half, putting that hundred percent. I tell you, it's a lot of stress. He was in full control when I met with him yesterday. Look, I didn't say he was drooling or hooting like an ape. Tell Rickard's come out here now. You can't do that. You can't confront him with us standing here like I this. I said, tell Rickard to come You're going to blow here. that man away. You're going to jeopardize this operation. Don't Listen, the department put a lot of million hours behind him because you said he could get the job done. Six months ago. Yeah, before he started working lightning boy, absolutely. But he said six months of watching that creep sell crack the kids. I tell you, the man is stretched too tight. This is the point where civilian traffic special. So, yeah, I don't want anybody to watch this. Turner here seems to have some doubts about your part in today's operation. Is that right? How can you do this? Teddy, listen, Danny and I, uh, we think you're losing it. We want to postpone. We want to put another guy in there. What is this crap? Who the hell's been living in the sewer with that scum for the last six months? You? Look, man, we know that. You don't know shit about what's coming down with Lightning Boy. It's me, man. I'm the only one who can pull it yeah, off. Listen to me. There gonna be other chances at Lightning Boy. But if we blow it tonight, his source is gonna know we're on to it. Maybe another year and a half before we can get this close. And their lives at stake. You buying this? Nobody's gonna blame Just back me if you off, off, man. Back off. I need my nose white. I'll go to Mama. Now I asked you, are you buying this? It's entirely up to you. You think you can handle the job? Yeah, I can handle it. I'm ready. Then what are we standing around here wasting time for? Listen, whether your gut feelings agree or don't agree, as far as I'm concerned, the man is mentally and emotionally sound as you or I. Oh, great. That makes me feel a whole lot better. Well, then just get the job done, OK? Please, fast. I think they're both headed for a psycho horn. I made myself clear, all right? Have any questions? Just calm down. Female, approximately 27 years of age. Makeup and dress indicates victim as a probable prostitute. I just feel like five cents change in the dollar. What's happened? Steffi's school rang me from Connecticut today. Bastards! They're sending her home, Heather. I'm undesirable. That's what they call me, undesirable. Fuck her! I must let Steffi take their little darlings. Oh, that's outrageous. Can you imagine what Steffi must be feeling right now? Oh, they said they didn't tell her why they're sending her home. Kids find out. Oh, yes. And I can expect a visit from the social workers. What are you going to do? I've got to get Steffi into another boarding school right away. Stop her brooding about it. How much do you need? A fortune. I've got an interview with three different schools tomorrow. Just the application fees alone cost 900. 
Jesus, you've been doing well for yourself. I'm not that broke. Still a bit left in the kitty. Consider it my investment in Steffi's future. Thanks, hon. I owe you one. Or two. Do you want to drop me off? Uh, Tony. <laughs> right. Great girl for your date with the ambassador. She came by the other day with Tiffany. Who's Tiffany? One of my new girls. Her friend's name's Francie. She's a great looker. She's dancing with the Silver Garden. I said you might drop by. Oh, I will. Thank you. You must be Francie. <laughs> I bet you were expecting someone a bit different. Well. Uh, can I buy you a drink? Oh, no, thank you. Would you like to sit down? Just for a minute, yes. Okay. You know, I'm just about giving up on you. You're from Georgia, aren't you? Wow, you know, you are the very first New Yorker who didn't think I was from Texas or someplace like that. One of my best friends was from Atlanta. <laughs> Eva, what'll it take to talk you into using me? Well, Francie, I have to be very careful. To be very honest with you, my clients expect a certain level of style and complete confidentiality and no drugs. Well, I have never betrayed a confidence in my life. I won't lie, and I've done my share of shit, but I'm clean now, and I'm planning on staying clean. I can do this, Heather. I know I can. Well, maybe we could try it for a little while. Thank you. But, Francie, it's not going to be easy at first, and um, you're going to have to quit your job here. I don't know if I can do that. You see, I don't mean to burden you with my problems, but I'm flat broke. I don't have any money. I don't even have a place to stay. Skip, the bartender said I could sleep in the office, but if I quit my job, I'm, I'm out on the streets. I suppose you could stay with me for a couple of days, just until you make enough money to get your own place. Thank you. Thank you so much. You not only look like an angel, you are our one. It's OK. You know, I've been trying to figure out what it is about you that seems so familiar. It's your hair. Your hair is exactly the same color as my mama's. I, I really like your hairstyle, too. It's real nice. Francie, I'll pick you up after work about two. OK.
say it. All the others do. Conley, my boy, you've had enough. I'm here to give pleasure. I'll take the money. Yeah, well, $500 a tumble, you're not exactly giving it away, are you? Teddy's using. I don't know. No. There they are. Okay, Rickard said to give him five minutes. You better call in, let him know we're going. Silver one to silver two. Silver one to silver two. Come in, silver two. You know, you're making me fucking nervous. Gary, open up. What's up? Sorry I'm late, but I got enough crack in here to blow up Manhattan. Mazatlan, here we come. Room. Hey, the dude's a cop, man. A fucking cop. The motherfucker busted me last year. Police, open up. Get out the fucking window. Oh, you had to shoot him, didn't you, Ash? Shut up! You decide to become a whore.
does. She doesn't know how to do it. Come on. Come on. Oh, I'm Look, I'm on my own time. What about Tuesday? Don't worry. I can't afford to throw away five bills every week. Want to buy some cookies? Yeah, well, I'm okay. Cookies, huh? Isn't even lousy a way to make a living. Okay, I'll take one on the check with me. Alright, hey, you guys, wanna buy some cookies? <laughs> you guys want any of this? You saw the ballistics report? Yeah, the lightning boy was carrying a 45. Doesn't matter. He's still guilty. He was there. Rickert was an asshole. But I liked him. Yeah, I told you it was all right. Privileges of rank, isn't it? Dad, some interesting things to tell me about their son. Like what? For openers, you knew he was going under the knife last week. Cut to the chase, Harris. An officer finds out he has cancer. What are you talking about? He finds out he has cancer. But this officer and his uh, superior officer, they enter into a deal so that the news flash doesn't hit the commanding officer that he shouldn't find out. And what he doesn't know doesn't hurt him right now. Rick, Rick had never mentioned cancer. He said it was adenoid, something. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You're missing the point here. The fact of the matter is I made a major decision concerning a man's life without the facts. In fact, it was your duty to supply. Just a fucking minute, Harris. Rickett was so stressed out, a toothache would have put him away. Now, I took the man's word on the health issue. What the fuck would you have done? Break into the doctor's office, check his records? Oh, you don't know how to play the game, do you? No, I guess not. I'm gonna have to have you transfer it. I'm gonna have to have you transfer it out of here before you ruin all of us. I mean, you have a good record, people speak up about you. But I'm gonna have you transfer it out of here so fast you won't even recognize the color of the uniform. He's right. I should have checked the medical situation. I owed it to Rickard.
just someone I like. How long have you been together? Uh, nine years. Uh, we met at a fundraiser for the Policemen's Association. I arrived with a congressman and ended up with a cop. Now that's the night you remember. I, I didn't know Tony had two kids. Uh, the older one's Steffi. Uh, She's been away at boarding school. Tony adopted both girls when their mother OD'd. Oh, she is amazing. She sure is. Yeah. Oh, thanks. I don't know what I would have done without her. Uh, I was working for a nasty pimp in Paris. Tony put makeup on the bruises. She brought me back to New York with her. She got me on the right track. Basically, she's been like a big sister to me. It's hard to believe anything that ugly ever happened to you. I mean, you look like you should be in some big house with a rich husband and plenty of servants. Tell me what it was like growing up in the South. Well, it was wonderful. We lived in, in this big old house. Not like a mansion, but a uh, southern plantation style. You know, with the, the big combs. And uh, my room, it was right in front. And all the servants, they felt like they were family. Yeah. It was a real happy place. At least I wish it was that way. I think we could both use some sleep. Well, I may not have grown up in one of those houses, but I'm gonna have me one one of these days. And I'm gonna have my hotel in France. Good night. <laughs> oh, Stella, darling. <laughs> this is certainly an all-time low. Startle you. You want feathers, friends? Yes. Yes, I, I, I guess I'm one of Heather's friends. Who are you? Are you one of Heather's friends? Yeah. I'm one of Heather's friends. Then why are you sleeping on the couch? safe subject. Well, how about
about existentialist thought in the writings of Dostoevsky? It's perfect. I should have thought of it myself. I wrote a paper on that once in college. It's perfectly safe for casual conversation. I didn't know Heather was working with college girls. Neither does Heather. You might think about telling her. Not everybody likes surprises. I know I don't. Especially when I'm working. And what, pray tell, is your line of work? I'm a cop. Like Wild Bill Hickok? Yeah. Exactly like Wild Bill. And some other guys whose luck just ran out. impression we got off to a bad start. Don't lose any sleep over it. We're just north of 23rd. All tunnels are moving with no trouble spots reported. Cross Bronx experiencing moderate delays due to a stall near Washington. And that about does it for me and the Sky High Report. And now back to more music and Smoke and Steve on WKGG. Larry, don't you think you're blowing the whole thing out of proportion? No, all I'm saying is I should have been consulted. My father's got some rights. Would you have said no? It's not the point. Kids straight out of high school. It's too young to join the Marines. Like father, like daughter. Oh, that's funny. Real funny. You and the lovely ex, Mrs. Turner, you ought to form a club. I mean, seriously, I got a problem here. How am I going to explain to people that I got a son that's a florist and a daughter's marching with the Marines? You're cute when you're angry, do you know that? Look, I know you've been really preoccupied at work, but my broker brought me a great investment opportunity. Not another hotel. Don't say it that way. This one's perfect. Right size, right price. Mm hmm. Where is it? Marseille. It's great. Look, we'll talk about it. Ciao. I wish I was in this. <laughs> <laughs> Thirteen years old. She didn't even make it to the hospital. Four more of them barely holding her own. I tell you, it's a nightmare. Seventeen years. I've never seen anything like it. I'd like to dump this badge and blow away every fucking dealer and pusher in the city. We could start with Lightning Boy. I want him. I want him for Rickard. And I want him for them. You through? Yeah. I'm through. Take a look. What's this? Green's trying to get an ID. Not a stiff working girl they fished out of the East River. Had a tattoo that said Tiffany. I thought maybe Heather could help him out with a last name. You never talk business, man. All right. But if Harris finds out, I'm out. Like that. Faster. Come on. Kleenex. There wasn't any in my room. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to check. I'm going out now. Is there anything you need? No, thank you. I'm fine. You've 
You've really done more than enough. Oh, forget it. The ambassador will be here at 7.30, and he really doesn't like to be kept waiting. I'll be ready. <laughs> you can be sure of that. Okay. Bye. See you later. Bye. services. Yeah, if you're interested in establishing a repeat client who can be very generous, call me on my private line, uh, 685-7689, before noon tomorrow. This could be a very good thing for you. Mm-mm. Francie, you are looking good. <laughs> $3,000 a month in complimentary caviar? Could be why they're making such a poor show. You really think I can do any better? Sure. Listen, hon. You've studied all there is to study. You've been looking at everything on the market for the last five years. <laughs> if you're not ready now, you're never going to be. Oh. Oh, at least I know not to give away the caviar. Hello? Who is that? Hold on one minute. Business, sweetheart. You go back to the living room. She started getting calls from her friends. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Now, who is it who referred you? Yellow pages. 100 for the service, 150 for the tip. Sure. Credit cards are welcome. Now, what kind of girl are you looking for? Well, that's kind of an unusual requirement. Not too many people play the harp. Send him an angel. Sure. She'll be with you. 5.30 sharp. <laughs> That's for you, Courtney. 5.30, the undertow. He wants you to play the harp for him. <laughs> I'll play his harp for him, all right. <laughs> Hiya, Heather. Oh my God, Kara, what happened? Couldn't you have ducked at least once? Yeah, my old man wanted to teach me a lesson. Now I'm teaching him one. Is she staying here? Just for a few days. So she's more presentable. Then I'm off to L.A. Any place that bastard can't find me. It's okay, Carrie. Steffi. Hi, Steffi. Hello. I thought you were staying at Barbara's, honey. Something wrong? Look, if something's wrong, shouldn't we talk about it? Nothing's wrong, Mom. I just didn't want to stay that talk. Steffi, you know we have no secrets here. Look, if it's school you're worrying about, you don't have to. You've already been accepted to one of the best. What is it, baby? Tell me. No! I'm not your baby. My mother was an angel. You told me she was. She was good. Everybody loved her. Barbara's mom. 
so we can't see each other anymore because I'm a bad influence. Because everybody knows what you do and what you are. Steffi, stop it. My school, my friends, everybody. I hate you. I hate you. I just wish I could die. gonna be tonight, buddy. We gonna hit the gym or what? Now you're gonna have to do it for both of us. Anyway, we're gonna have a workout here any minute. I don't know why this fool doesn't pull over. Hey, man, what's hey, happening? Man? He thinks he's running for mayor. Yeah. He's probably got something in the car. see us behind you like that, you get off the street fast. I've got better things to do than chase you around all day. You know, man, what do you think I'm playing at? Games, man? Look, you broke the first and holiest rule in our relationship, man, coming into my territory like that. Hey, want to hear me say I'm sorry? No, oh, hey, hey, <laughs> that ain't necessary, man. You want to rewrite the Constitution, hey, that's okay with... Hey, man, what the hell are you doing? Did a, a mirror finish lacquer job you buffing with yeah, your behind. Yeah, real nice, George, real nice. Hey, look, man, make him get off, huh? Look, you put one scratch on that, and City Hall gonna get my bill. Shut the fuck up. You're gonna get a bill. The cop was killed yesterday. You know about that? Uh, yeah, yeah, real shame, man, yeah. Yeah, it was a shame. You better watch it, Joey. It's what would really be a hey. shame if I had to ram your fucking head into this wall, hey. right? You're gonna be picking your teeth out of your asshole. And I wanna know where I can find Lightning Boy and the hooker. You know me, man. If I had anything, I'd tell you. <laughs> I'd tell you, but I don't know nothing, huh? I, I don't know nothing, man. What do you think, Danny? I think he's full of crap, man. No, I ain't. Believe me, I ain't. I, I, I swear on a stack of Bibles, man. I Believe me. You're talking to an atheist here, you understand? The only thing I believe in is in putting Lightning Boy and his source out of business. You're gonna help me, right? No, man, I can't. They kill me. They're not gonna kill you. No, fuck you better worry about your fucking life. Okay. Hey, it's a fucking game. Oh, 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 I'm diving out on a boat on the East River Pier 19, the 25, the, 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 the night wind. Oh, God. I, I ain't no fucking encyclopedia, man. Oh, man. You don't know what you've done, man. This baby feels it. It feels the hurt, man. Six thousand dollars here. Six thousand dollars worth of hurt here. You know what it costs to bury a guy? Let's go. Why would you want to make myself scarce, man? Kind of joke. You, you don't like it? Fred. 
Francie, we are not doing a vaudeville routine here. This client is important to me. If he had wanted twins, he would have asked for them. I'm sorry, I'll go check. No, that. we don't have time now. I'll just have to think up something to say to explain it. You gotta understand, Heather. I, I don't know how to dress for an ambassador. I mean, people like that just don't come to small towns. And, well, I just thought, I, I mean, he really likes the way you dress, and I just want him to Look, be dressed. Look, let's just drop it, okay? <sighs> Who knows? He may even like it. While I was ringing him out. <laughs> oh, this place reminds me of a villa in Rome. I spent two wonderful weeks there last summer. You know, you amaze me. Very few young American women know Europe as well as you do. And yet you have never been to Paris. <laughs> you know, I think the reason I put off Paris for so long is because I truly want to appreciate everything it has to offer. The Louvre, the theaters, the bistros. How can one leave Paris truly satisfied after only a few weeks? You're quite right, of course. You know, you must come with me to Paris when I take my vacation next year. With me, you will see Paris as she should be seen. The parties, the museums, the opera. Heather, where did you find this refreshing creature? <laughs> Definitely on another planet. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Look, I don't know what you're trying to pull by feeding me this sob story about little Southern Belle lost in the big city. But whatever it is, honey, it's over. I'm stuck with you tonight. But tomorrow, I want you out of my home and out of my life. Man, I hate water. I'm sick. You okay? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 
a look at this fine specimen of a human being. You see anything resembling a man here? Should we stop this? Wait a minute. Hurt me, asshole. How thoughtless of you. Sit down. You mark me, man, and you're in trouble. I think we know who's in trouble. Even in this city, people don't like guys who kill cops. Poison little kids. I didn't kill that cop, and you know it. Maybe we should let him go. What do you think? Yeah, maybe so. Listen, asshole. I don't think you understand your position here. I got you for possession, I got you for resisting arrest, and I got you as an accessory to murder. You're going to be lucky they don't bury you to save on the food bills for the next hundred years. You scary man, fuck! You gotta be scared! I didn't think I could get the fucking name for you. You'd be dead just like that. Fuck it, fuck it! Too late, man! Get him out of here! Turn, turn, turn. What do you think you're doing? I want this man charged with a crime that mocks with a walk. It's my color. But just justifying these Neanderthal tactics he using? You made an arrest without consulting your commanding officer. Oh, listen. An arrest that could easily see you endanger the lives of you and your partner. An arrest that could have led to your suspension, if anything. If anything had went wrong. All right. I'm lucky today. But don't press it. Be sure to make him a real good deal, Harrison. That asshole nearly killed me. Get him a sit down. Is he coming back to the desk or what? Uh, my Michigan the machine crapped out. I got reports to take tonight. Be hey, my guest. We got anything on that Florida case? Uh, reports from out of state on similar killings. No leads. Serial killers? Probably. Yeah. 
me if uh, if you feel like having a drink with a Neanderthal I'll meet you at Alexander sometime after three I'll be the one with the club I don't know, you work hard. I thought maybe that was the answer. I don't like what I do anymore. I don't like who I am. I used to think I could make a difference, but... You have. I'm thinking about getting out. How do you feel about that? Larry, you always said that you'd go for lieutenant first. Yeah, well, things don't always work out the way we want them to. I need to get things settled between us. Larry, let's not talk about that right now. I'm not ready yet. When are you going to be ready, Heather? I mean, we're past the age of consent now. If you don't know what you want, when are you going to know? I love you. That's enough for me. And if I say I don't want an apartment in Queens or just an occasional vacation, doesn't mean I don't love you, too. No. Maybe you don't love me anymore. Maybe we just waited too long. Now it's past time. How do you think I feel knowing that... I want you to stop. Let's not get into that right now. <laughs> you know, I knew what you were from the beginning. I thought, well, people change, you know. They 
They learn about themselves. You think what you're doing is any different from, from some working girl on the street because you live in a townhouse on the east side? Huh? Look, if that's the way you really feel, maybe we should call it quits so that you don't waste any more time. It's not the wasted fucking time. It's the wasted lives. You know, when you look back on your life, you're supposed to have something that you're proud of. What are you going to have, Heather? What am I going to have? Same broad got that hatchet killer up with manslaughter. Makes you wonder if Harris doesn't have a sense of smell. Yeah, well, maybe the DA's man will show some yeah, balls. Right. It's gonna be a while. Let's get some breakfast.
called for a cab? <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm running late. Look, there's a box I'd like you to take out of the cab for me, and I'll be down in a few moments. Thank you. Heather, I've been up all night. I'm so worried about the ambassador. Is he all right? I mean, I, I thought maybe I should write him a note or something. <laughs> Yeah, you see, I, I probably should have told you last night. I get these blackouts sometimes. Look, Francie, I'm going to leave some money on the bar for you. I want you to take it and leave. I want you out of this apartment by the time I get home. Sergeant Turner, please. No, no message. <laughs> See, Serena? Now I'm really gonna look like mommy. It's uh, Heather, right? That's right, Roger. Just for the record, let's keep that Mr. Chambers, all right? Of course, Mr. Chambers. Now, why don't we see what we've got here? Mm -hmm. Certainly can't accuse you of false advertising. Would you care to examine my teeth? Now, oh, look, Miss... I just got your name, Miss. I'm paying damn good money for this little frolic. I think I have a right to examine the merchandise. You're right, Mr. Chambers. You're 100% right. Welcome to Heather Incorporated. Face, body, soul for sale. Highest price merchandise. Going, going, gone to the highest bidder. Now... What you had in mind was a simply mind-blowing fuck. Am I right? Just a goddamn minute here. If I wanted a $20 quickie, I'd have gone to Times Square. Well, tell me what turns you on, Mr. Chambers. Whatever it is, tell me. You're the professional. What am I paying you for? Do you want straight sex? Head? Do you want to watch me? Oh, come on. Not some kind of pervert. Look, I'm tired and upset, and you're obviously not in the mood. Not in the mood? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Well, I can't do my job without your cooperation. You're all the same, aren't you? If a man doesn't salivate the second you take your clothes off, there's something wrong with him. Well, there's nothing wrong with me. Hmm? Nothing. If I want to fuck, I'm ready. Day, night, any time. <laughs> it's you. There's something wrong with you. Yeah, if you were any good at your profession, you'd know what a man wants. You'd, you'd, you'd sense it somehow. You actually make me sick. Yeah, you do. You think because I, I don't get a heart on looking at you. You think I'm something wrong with me. Well, it's you. You're the problem here. You're useless. You're a useless piece of shit.
For your time. Keep it. I just retired. Harris struck a deal with Lightning Boy for that hooker. You get your supplier? You know Harris. Something's better than nothing. Shit! That's exactly what he got, too. You're nothing. picking the girl up now if you're interested. 125 West 74. He's still in his place. Come on. My kids to the neighbors, okay? No. Nobody will lose here until I tell them they can do so. Do I get to know what the charges are? <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Tony, this idiot says I helped kill a cop! You're crazy! Don't bother defending her. You're in as much trouble as she is. Terrified. Let her find somebody to watch her. What the hell do you think you're doing, Turner? This woman's accused of harboring a fugitive. Tell me. Easy! I'm taking these children into protective okay. custody. Honey, don't make okay. Just any deal, right? Any deal to grab the glory. Well, I'll tell you something, pal. I think you really screwed up this time. You got the wrong women. None of them were even near the alley. We got the right girls. She was seen in this house. And I'm taking these children out of here right now. No! Please, no! <coughs> Go on! Go to Mrs. Michaels, honey. Find yourself an attorney. You're gonna need a good one. You booked the kids. It'll be all right.
So what are you gonna do now? My brother could use a salesman. Right, and I could apply to the Department of Sanitation too. Get a good lawyer. Smiley, I use your phone. Sure, I'll you a quarter. Hello, Mr. Get my quarter. Tiffany kicked you in, Mr. Club for that. Where's Heather? She's not here. Oh, well, Tony's in big trouble, boy. You know, I, I could have shit in my pants when you opened the door just now. For a moment there, I, I thought you were a sister or something. You know, it's fucking stupid pretending you don't know me, Francie. You and Tiffany and I spent too much time together. God, it's Tiffany. She's the one they found at the pier. to hurt you. Listen to me. Will you listen? What do you want? I can't let her kill again. No. What are you talking about? You have to help me stop frenzy. She doesn't remember. I, I made sure the police couldn't find her. Forgive me.
Call the police. I can't give her to them. Where's her room? Upstairs and to the right. Tudor Terrace. Please, come quick. There's been a murder here. Yes, I said murder. She's dead. Hurry. <laughs> This is the best way.
It's going to feel really strange living in England after all these years. You know you'll love it. Mm hmm And somewhere, sometime, there's going to be somebody in that great metropolis looking for a perfect secretary. What? I'm going to miss you all so much. You're going to see more of us than you bargained for when you settled. <laughs> Listen, I really hope that works out for you. Me too. Take care of yourself. <laughs> we almost forgot Schmoo. Schmoo. Okay, end of the line, Carl. I'll see you. I can't thank you enough. Be careful. Huh? Take care of that. And you, her. Come on. Let's go, guys. Into the cab. Oh, so Bye, Scott. Bye-bye. Take care of your mom. Oh, great. You got your move. Bye. Okay. Nice suit. Oh God, I'm glad you like it. This lady owns a hotel in France. Picked it out for me. Get the tickets. Mm -hmm. You get your passport. Yep. Say start over in French.